What's up, everybody? Cloudy here, and today we are going to talk about Fun Spot Orlando. We're going to review the entire park right now. You're seeing the GCI right now. We've already went over this ride. I've got good footage on it. This ride's good. Go see my review on it, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Well, maybe you should watch Coaster Studios first than mine because Coaster Studios has no more coaster knowledge than me. Kind of makes me sad, doesn't it? But, you know, uh, if you want to know where some of these locations I got, just comment down below and I'll tell you them. But let's get into the review just after this footage of the GCI Woody White Lightning. Uh, this place is very patriotic, which is nice. You were in America, you know. It's great to see. But, uh, we got... GCI thing again. We're still going over the GCIs. I'm telling you, Grady Group is better than GCI. And nobody agrees besides Coaster Tunes and me. Thank you, Coaster Tunes, for agreeing with... That Grady Group is better than GCI. I love you. Anyway, let's not get carried away. But, uh, this thing's still going. This should be the, about the end right here. Yep. Come on. Come on. See, there it goes. Alright, break run. We're on the break room. We're on the walk room. Oh, here's Freedom Flyer. This ride's pretty good. Uh, this one's... Some superhero theme? I don't really know. Why did that go so fast? I'm so sorry about the brightness you see in some of these. I, I didn't think that happened. I guess I should have looked. Uh, yeah, I don't think anybody's going to use this footage besides the end of the helix. That was decent. That was not too bad right there. But, um, I mean, um, this is a review. Oh, you got funnel cake right there. That's that's nice. I can't eat it right now since I'm dairy free. Look good though. Ooh. Uh, the that helix is fun though, and it goes in. Yeah, look at that transition. That was nice. Um, yeah, th this is one of my favorite, um, favorite shots I got. Anyway, now we can get on to the review. Jeez, it took a long time. Alright, right now we got, this is the carousel. Obviously an old-fashioned carousel. We're going to go over the rides. We're going to go through all these, um, what do you call it? Oh my gosh, I'm so dumb. Oh, well, we're going to go through all these rides and... The, the review kind of tells you what all the rides are, so we're going to go all the rides. This is their tallest drop tower here. It's I, I don't think I've been on it, and I don't think I will go on it because it's just a mini. It's really a upgraded frog hopper, really. I'd say that. Still better than um, Dr. Doom's Free Fall. That ride, that, that, I, I don't understand why people like it. It sucks. There is absolutely no, no getting out of seat. No air time, bro. Oh, here's, here's a scrambler, you know, your normal everything, twister, or what else you call it, tornado, scrammer, blur. I'm reading stuff on the back, but I'm stupid. Yeah, anyway. Oh, hot seat, SNS sky. Um, swing, what do you call it? Sky, sky, sky swing, 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 whatever. This is a good, this is a good ride. This is a good ride. After this, we're going to go into the categories and talk about it. And we're going to rank them. And then that's the video. So it's going to be a long review. We're going to sit here for a moment. Uh, swing shot's a good ride, though. I got to say... Uh, you get really high up in the air. Now, I want to do this ride at Glenwood Caverns because that would be amazing and that would be a bucket list achievement right there. Enterprise, I was going to film on this, but they won't let you film it. Even though the sign says, you, you, 
it doesn't even say that you're not allowed to film it. It doesn't say that anywhere on there. I've read it. It's absolutely nowhere on that sign. But, you know, it's fine. Now we're going to get into the Himalaya here. The, what do you call it? Him, Himalaya? Him, but, 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 I think I said it right. Yeah. The Wave Breaker. I think this is what this is called. I, I haven't been on it in a while. I didn't go on it the day. Because I was, I don't want to run out of time. Just gotta get all these off. Right, it takes a while because you gotta get you gotta wait until the dispatch and everything. And the go karts took the longest. Oh my gosh, that was the worst thing waiting for. But it was worth it. Maybe I don't, I only I haven't really looked at the footage. I just did it and go, we're going to just trim it, merge it, and then boom, you're done. And here's a pretty shot of the park. This they got a pond in the middle. It's beautiful. Uh, here's a restaurant. I don't know why I did this. I guess, I guess for a meme. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, th that was pretty awkward. Just somebody looked at me like, mm, okay, okay. And there's the slide. And here's the most adorable thing. This ride is beautiful. You know, I'm gonna call this a tour and review now. It makes more sense, you know. Oh, yeah, the happy swing. This, this is adorable. I remember my sister cried when she first went on it. Now she loves it. But, uh, oh, Sea Serpent. Oh, what a great, cute little ride. The sign on this ride is phenomenal, by the way. Jeez, I've never seen a sign on a kitty coaster that is so much better than anything else. Holy crap. That's a pretty good sign. I mean, look at it. It looks pretty good for a kitty coaster, that's for sure. And this is made, what, oh, I forgot what these are made by, um, what's that, San Perla, right? I think so. If I'm wrong, then I'm very stupid and should not be a coaster enthusiast. I think it's San Perla, though, don't worry. San Perla Kitty Coaster. Um, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Footage right there, that's decent. Uh, yeah. The yellow airtime hills into a nine degree turn. Pretty, pretty solid clone kitty coaster, I gotta say. Now here we go on the bumper boats. These things get you soaking wet. And the one, this, these bumper boats, they're really good, I gotta say. The only thing is, I just wish on bumper boats you can angle your squirt down because it's, it can't really hit anybody unless they're far away. But here's the bumper cars, of course. I mean, here's somebody about to get in the head-on head. Can't do that. Um, Owner's Conquest. This is I got this footage on the Ferris wheel. The Ferris wheel is pretty nice. It's pretty relaxing. It didn't go on very long. I only got about one, two full rotations. That's about it. It's mostly two, though, isn't it? I think so. I don't know. We're on a pretty crowded day, though. But the first wheel wasn't crowded, so I don't know. Uh, right there you can see Commander, the green one, and I think, is that Conquest? Is that what it's called? I think so. And the other one's, maybe the other one's called, I'm getting confused right here. <laughs> I see all the people racing on their go-karts looking like little ants or on a video game. It's kind of silly. Also in the back you can see, um, you can see, uh, Universal back there, Dr. Doom's um, this tower and Hulk and all the other rides over there, and even uh, Hogwarts is over there. If you look on your left, very closely, you can see it. But I don't, I don't think now you can't. But oh, now now you can. Got some footage of the helix down there, and now we're back to bumper boats because that's fun. Oh, man. Bumper boats are fun. Bump boats. I was trying to ask this kid to square it out the camera just for fun. He didn't. Hey, he's got, he's got respectful. He's respectful, though. So, you know, that's pretty nice of him. Uh, Yeah, now you're getting a thrasher. Thrasher, I can't go on because I'm not the one that's not me. Conquest. That's Conquest. And the other one's com the green one's Commander and... What's the other ones then? What's the other two? 
no, what's the other one? I forgot the name of it. What? Oh, man. Well, Thrasher, um, not the Skateboarding Baron, obviously. Um, I've, it's more of a, I don't know why it's 60 inches instead of 54. Might be because of more tight turns and it's more of a realistic racing aspect. I guess. But I love Conquest the best because of this draw, uh, the, when you go downhill right here. It's just a fun turn when if you're racing somebody. Because you can get past them. And I saw like, there was some wrecks on that. Oh my gosh. Like, ooh, she's spinning out. Pretty bad, gotta say. Now we are, um... Going into here, okay, I don't think we need to see this, can we move on? No? Alright. Yep. Alright, we get the, we get the jet. Alright, so now here's, I only know the, the yellow one, I don't remember the name. Give me, oh, quad helix, there we go, got it. Woo! Why is it called quad, I guess there's quad helix, there's four helixes? Interesting. So, I guess you race around in four helixes. I don't remember. I didn't get on that one day. I only got on Conquest because that's all I like. And these go-karts are really stiff, I gotta say. I don't know if I like them very much. I mean, they're great tracks, but the some of the some the car I got today was squeaky. They just need to fix, probably get new go-karts in. I, I, that's what I would do if I was Fun Spot CEO. I don't know how it works. I don't know. Anyway. N now we're going to get footage of the ride going off. Oh, never mind. We're going to get... Nope. Nope. Never mind. Nope. All right. What am I doing with my wife? Just sitting here reviewing the coasters and rides at Fun Spot. No, it was, it was great here. Oh, by the way, you don't need to wear a mask here and outdoors. It's a fun spot. Also, you can you don't have to at Disney or Universal anymore either, or Sea World. By the way, I'm surprised with Disney and Universal though with that one. Oh, here's the Tilt the World's um adorable ride. Oh, these people are just interfering with my recording, but I thought it was pretty hilarious. Thank you for making it more entertaining, people in Tilt the World car. If you're watching this, thank you. Let's see. Uh, Head Rush 360. This ride gives you airtime, and it goes on for a decent long time. Uh, the, I mean, hang time, not airtime. What? Okay, hang time on this ride. When? Okay, what? Watch this. Watch as soon as it gets up to here. It's gonna watch how long the hang time is. It's freaking phenomenal. Well, never mind, cause it's ended. Oh, jeez. Well, I guess you saw it, maybe. I don't know. Oh, well, why we got this back again? I guess I just... Okay. Well, who cares? Anyway. Yep, there's there's the ending of the track. We don't need to see it anymore. You get one car. Okay, I guess I want a racing aspect. Alright, well, now we are going to get into the, the review. Alright, I'm giving the roller coasters a 6 out of 10. White Lightning's a great GCI Woody for this small park, and Freedom Fire is a great Vacoma suspended family coaster at this small park. So I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10 right here. Alright, so for the thrill rides category, I'm going to give it a 8 out of 10 because I want there to be a better drop tower. Maybe a frisbee claw, maybe, you know? Alright, go kart. I'm gonna give this category a 9 out of 10 because the cart itself is very squeaky. I just want to say the cart is, it needs to be fixed. I think what they should do is um get new carts. Yeah, I, that would probably bring down the popularity a bit, the capacity a bit at Fun Spot, because most people go there for the go-karts. So that's 
the go kart category. All right, so I'm gonna give the family rides a five out of ten. I know this is a small part, but I do think they need more family rides. They only got like four, which is bumper carts, bumper boats, and a Ferris wheel. It's pretty normal, to be honest, for a normal park. That's normal rides. Okay, the kitty rides. I'm going to give this category a 10 out of 10 because it's a pretty good kitty area. They have a roller coaster, a fun slide, a frog hopper, a swing ride, you know, your normal train ride, and a happy swing, and a fun house. So what more can you get if you're a kid? You're going to be very happy here. 10 out of 10. Okay, so now we are going to talk about appearance. Appearance. I'd give it a 8 out of 10. I mean, look at the footage right here. Absolutely beautiful park. Barely any trash anywhere. But in the back, I see a lot of broken down go-karts just sitting in the middle of the freaking walkways and it's just kind of confusing because i don't know it's just confusing so i'm gonna take two points off it eight out of ten okay operations three out of ten the operations suck here why because i waited at least five minutes for another dispatch on freedom flyer i i'm not kidding it was awful so i'm gonna give the dispatches Three out of ten because of that. Uh, also, on White Lightning, it's pretty slow too. I mean, they only got like one person doing it. They should have two. I'm. Sh I know it was a shortage. I know. Okay, now the food. I give the food a six out of ten because it's normal amusement park food, and you're at fun spot. They got fair carts with deep fried uh, Oreos. But the good, why do I bring it up? Probably because they got Four Rivers here. Four Rivers barbecue food truck here. And I'm sure it's pretty good. I haven't had it. But I'm sure it's pretty good. But in the Sky, the, the sky Swing, Sky Coaster, you could find a the big uh, food court in there. And that's just normal food. I recommend Four Rivers if you're going to eat here. Alright, the park itself gets a 7 out of 10. Could use improvements, but Fun Spot is a really... I think this is the best out of Kissimmee, but Kissimmee has obviously the best coaster because it's a group, and it has an inversion. It's the only wooden in coaster inversion in Florida, well, before Iron Gwazi, of course. But yeah, this is the park review. I'm signing off. Why am I saying that like this is a TV? No, we're not doing this. But the park itself gets a 7 out of 10. The food's okay. Uh, just four rivers. Go to four rivers. The coasters are good. The appearance is pretty awesome, to be honest. For a small family amusement park, the appearance is great. So, this is... I'll see you in the next one. Bye!